Hello everybody and welcome to the Mura Music YouTube channel. Where today we're going to build this cable pass through. Here's a room we've seen a bunch of. This is my music room and recording room. What we haven't seen is what's on the other side of this wall. So if we come through here, right now it's just our ping pong room. But we're in the process of redoing it, taking down this wood paneling. So I figured that was a perfect time for me to figure out how to get some cables through the wall so that I can mic up this Hammond organ. Okay, so I pulled the stuff away from the wall and there's a hole. So this video is done. We'll just put our cables through there and call it a day. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I based this cable pass through off of some commercially available versions. As you can see, it's basically a hole with a faceplate that has a thick door with a gasket on it that allows the cables to pass through, but the door can close and seal down around the cables. So I drew up my own version in SketchUp just to get an idea of what it would end up looking like, and then I got to work building it out of some half-inch MDF. First, I started with the tube that goes through the wall. My wall is 8 inches thick, so I made two 8 by 8 inch pieces for the top and bottom and then two four by eight inch pieces for the two sides. Then I glued and nailed the box together, and at this point I could cut a hole in the wall to fit the box. Perfect. On my second attempt, I got a clean hole through both walls. One side of the box is lined up with the stud in the wall, that way I can drill some holes at an angle and put in some screws through the side of the box and into the stud to hold the whole thing in place. Next I cut the pieces for the front frame to 6x9 and the two door panels to 5x8. I then cut out the middle of the front frame on the scroll saw. Next I centered the door piece on the frame and drilled a hole through both pieces so that I could use a thumb screw and threaded insert to attach the door to the frame. Lastly, I rounded over the inside edges of the frame so that the cables won't get kinked over a sharp corner. Then I painted all the pieces to match the trim in my house, and when that was dry, I screwed in the threaded inserts, and on the door panel, I attached some adhesive-backed foam. Then I could screw the frame to the box in the wall, and then I added some insulation tape to the frame to finish the whole thing off. Now I have a convenient way to just shove some wires through the wall, and I can seal the whole thing up with the thumb screws on the door. Alright, so here we are a couple of months later than all of the footage you just watched. I had to go ahead and finish redoing this room before I could put the final frame on on this side of the wall. And I figured I'd just talk about some things I think would make this better if you were interested in that. So I think one difference you could make would be to make two boxes that kind of nest inside of each other and then you could attach the frame to each one of those and they would kind of both slide in from each side to the wall and nest in between each other. I think you get more mass then you get better soundproofing there and kind of a better seal. But otherwise the only difference that I would think I would make would be to make this frame thicker. So you can see my holes are kind of pretty close to the corners and I don't have a ton of overlap between the door and the frame. So I think with just more overlap there and more surface area, you get a better seal and probably help with the soundproofing some point. But I'm not worried about it since this wall is just a uh, regular stud construction. It's a hollow wall. So this thing's already as soundproof as the wall itself is, so I'm not really worried about getting it too much more than that. But just some thoughts on ways to make it better. I can see here I just have to install this insulation tape on this frame, and then this side will be all done as well. Well, that's gonna about do it and wrap up this project. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you had any questions or comments about this project, I'd love it if you write those down in the description below. 
But otherwise, make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any videos coming out in the future. But most of all, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.